Hey, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Happy Hour Ish, the uh, the one and only show on Exotica TV where we get drunk and pretend that we know what we're doing. Uh, I am your host Jay. This is my my lo- my life partner Dan. He's uh, hetero life. Hetero life. Well, why do you why do you got to label okay. us, Dan? I mean, what I do. So, welcome to quarantine week seven. Am I right? I guess every week. Was I right? I don't know. I, I, it's fucking like 62 days for me. <sighs> yeah, man. I'm with you. And, and uh, this, this is our 40th broadcast day of Exotica TV, live broadcast day of Exotica TV. Yeah. Congratulations, Dan. You're doing a hell of a job. You know what? Our, our you... eighth happy hour is. The reason why we say ish, by the way, people, is because. We have no fucking idea of how to use a clock, stopwatch, timer, or any of these things. So, it's just going to go until one of us passes out, yeah. or everybody gets sick of each other. Yeah, which could go really quick. Uh, Dan, I noticed something different about you. You look—you have a new found Santa Claus beard. Where did I this, know. Where did this thing it's come actually, from? I'm going, it's my Papa Smurf collection. Okay. It's nice. It, it's, I like it's that like you I cut, get up like... in the morning, you know, I still, you know, I get up, shower, I just don't shave as much. And, you know, it's just easier really quick here. Once you do it takes the like trim, two seconds. Once you do the trim, it all of a sudden makes it look like. Dude, yeah, as because I did, I've had this. So do you I've no- had this the entire time. Do you notice something different about me? Your shirt cocking it. No, not just the collar shirt. Oh, something else different. Come on. You're not wearing glasses? I am not wearing glasses. And do you know why? Because you put your glasses in your dishwasher because you learn no lessons from the fleshlight that you put in there. You know what? I, I, I'm going to get that out of the way now. I, my, my glasses are now fully cracked and dried out and the lenses are like peeling off of them. Um, just a little note to people not to put your glasses in the dishwasher. I just figured it would give it a really good clean. Now I'm going to go. One next. of our guests tonight is a scientist. So we're going to ask her why, <laughs> why, what? Not why you put your, why your dishes got, you know, your uh, glasses got fucked up in the dishwasher. Why? some human being of 40 something years old would actually think that was a good idea. That's what I want to know. Didn't even phase me that it would be a bad idea. Just, yeah. you know, I went for yeah. it. And you sure you're not sure cocking it back up. There's no, there's no poo bear going on, right? You got pants. All right, good. All right, good deal. I feel much better now. They're shorts and uh, you know, yeah, but well, whatever. Are Enough you ready for me. the big reopening, Jay? You know yeah, oh, I'm right. Sure. Opening next week. I'm very excited. Yeah, that that's gonna go well. We're we, I, we already know that one of our guests is like she she's she already confessed that she is uh, like super morbid when it comes to uh, predictions of of coronavirus. And so we must find that out too. Uh, you, dude, just picture the Jersey Shore Memorial Day. Like, just picture the Jersey Shore period. Uh, period. Jersey like day. yeah, it's it's and infected think, to begin way, with. You know what the cure for weed is? I mean, for uh, Corona is right here. I'm gonna guess weed. This yeah. dude, this, I'm, I have my theories. Weed. Your theory is wrong. We'll, we'll check in with I the scientist later because yeah. she's going to tell you how fucking stupid that, 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 oh, she's that gonna say it's, She's going to say it's actually probably good. I love weed. For, I'm, I'm not going to claim that it fixes coronavirus. Yeah. And, um, yeah, but it's, something's got to happen soon, dude, because now I'm just like watching anything on TV because I've gone through everything else I wanted to watch. Yep. I mean, when you told me the other day that you're watching 90 Day Fiance, A, I wanted to revoke your man card. B... I wanted to punch you in the face. Almost through the first season, baby. I don't feel season, like baby. Philly, and oh. that would be social. I have long arms, so it could be social distancing. Oh, but, man. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, dude, I just, I'm just night. ashamed of you. I'm ashamed of me. That's, but that's, I, 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 there's no excuse to be made. There's no, you know, I'm not going to sidestep it. I, am, I have a 90-day fiancé problem, and it's not going to be fixed until I get through season five or whatever it's on. Or until you get a new pair of glasses, but <laughs> that too. That being said, let's do. It. Nobody wants to see us. Nobody. And I'm, I'm, I'm distracted because I'm I looking don't at our, see us. our staging area, and there's three lovely ladies. So we might as well bring one of them in, because <laughs> you know, God knows, little you know, middle-aged white guys is just not doing it for anybody. Let's do right a middle-aged now. white guy sandwich. What do you say? Let, let's let's watch our hearts go up automatically uh, as soon as yeah. you bring her in. Yeah. Look, I mean, she's a she's the newest Brazzers contract girl. I mean, dude, I mean, I don't even need to say all the other bullshit about her. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Kendra Sunderland. What's up, Kendra? Yeah, what is up? What's up? Thank you for having me. 
Keep doing that, and that shit's gonna freaking triple. Did you hear that? You don't hear that ding, right? Oh, you we did, but that's like okay. Of... Well, you, you did. Know, it... Sorry, yeah, my shit on do not disturb. I'm oh, popular. You are popular, <laughs> I, I, and and I, you know what? I know why. I, I can See? tell. Yes, it's my big, beautiful, voluptuous eyes, isn't it? It absolutely yes. is. That's just where I was staring. <laughs> and my, they go well with your blunt. Ah, they do. They oh, man. do. Nothing. You missed the blunt. You know what? I'm taking you off the white guy sandwich, and I'm gonna I'm gonna put you to the. Yeah, dude, uh, we don't we don't need to be big. So yeah, I see no. you're rocking the Brazzers uh, bikini. So congratulations, yes. you're their newest contract girl. Thank you. Love so those I know guys. you went. You were you were the first vixen angel of um of their lifetime of the company. Yeah, ever. <laughs> That's <laughs> ever. That's a ever. serious claim too. It is. And now you've gone on to Brazzers. So congrats. They're great guys over there and gals. Um, you. You know, what made you decide to sign with them? Um, I thought for a while I was just going to do my own website and my own videos. And then I realized I kind of hit another plateau. And so I've always wanted to work with Brazzers and the many different websites that they have. And so I hit them up and I was like, yo, you know, let's, let's work something out. And it was just going good. I was getting on a roll and shooting for them right before all this shit started happening. And then instantly one day you wake up and all of it stopped. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, luckily, we're all chilling with our old leaf fans and our Snapchats and websites and stuff like that. I'm not stressed, but I was getting, I was really enjoying shooting new stuff, you know? I'm like, I'm getting nervous when we talk to so many <clears throat> different stars that are, are kind of doing the same thing and they're having their only fans and like, how are we going to get them out of their house, Dan? Like when this is all <laughs> over, like what, how do you get them get out, out of the house? house? And B, it's just, well, first, you know, there's a thing called duct tape and roche. <laughs> oh, so yeah. That's... I do not, con I am not, I'm not a part of that. I, Jay, Dan, you're it on pays your, your mortgage. You're, hey, you're it pays your own. mortgage. Get us out of our hotel. Well, honestly, you're probably. We'll call the, dun we'll call the dungeon people. House. Yeah, we'll call the dungeon people <laughs> and have them rustle you up. Yeah, you're gonna better. You got a better chance of getting hurt of the shows now than me, but <laughs> I'm getting, I'm getting quite comfy here I'm doing this stuff. Who, who isn't? Like that's Where, that's one of the beauties of all of this. <laughs> but you know, the best part is, is Jay that, yeah. You know, where else can I come to get insulted on a daily basis? Right here, exactly. You putting pyro every, up, saying every, that I'm so old. Basically, I walked uphill to school both ways. <laughs> yeah. You think I don't see that shit, dude? <laughs> you think I don't got periscope running here? Whatever. Thanks a lot. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. You deserved it. I, Enough I, about I me, it. Dan. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you used that college education. So yeah. those who don't know. Kendra's story. Kendra came into prominence. You were a cam she was a cam girl, right? Yes. The story wrong. She was going to Oregon State University, correct? Mm-hmm. The Beavers. And go Beavers. Go Beavers. And she decided <laughs> to put on a cam show with her Beaver in the <laughs> library uh, during school hours, and kind of got caught. Yeah, it, it was uh, it was two months later that somebody posted it on Pornhub with my full legal name, and it was in the news everywhere, basically, that I got arrested for masturbating in a public library, and they just flat out said my full name on the news and everything, so I just went with it. You did a great, <clears throat> I, I watched the news coverage. I One of the clips that I saw in, in like coming into this was like the two minute like local news coverage or whatever yeah. of it, like, and like, you, know, you, you walked out and you were just like, yeah. To, uh, it's like, it's yeah. not weird to anybody at the school. It's like it's weird to you outside people, but like you do realize that like we're a bunch of you know college kids like you know doing crazy things. Yeah, like, I, I, I was impressed. Even all the all the college students they interviewed that were like, oh, you know, I can't believe she would do that. That's just like not what our school Whatever, is about. Dude. I'm like, okay, you act like you guys don't party all the freaking time and like get super so drunk. And... My, my biggest question once I saw all this stuff is, and, and kind of like reliving it again, watching it today, did you have a roommate in college? Um, yeah, I had two roommates when I started webcamming. And then when they found out, it was kind of like rough between us because I had stopped going to school. They were still going to school. Right. I started webcamming and they didn't understand why I would want to do that type of thing. And then I threw a party at the house and then that was kind of the last straw. Uh, I moved in with a new roommate. And then when the library thing got out, she moved out because like somebody had posted my police report, which had our address on it and right. they didn't blur it or anything. Or So I had to warn her and she moved out that weekend. So... It, it was a, it's a rough time. I don't know why, but that was like the first thing I thought. I was like, just imagine like, dear mom, school is great. 
you know, we're, 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 we've had, we're having a blast. And by the way, my roommate got arrested for flashing in the library, you know, like, it, Oh yeah, no, her mom definitely saw it on the news. I yeah. know, I know for a fact, <laughs> my ex-boyfriend's moms, all my friends, moms, they all saw it on the news. My grandparents. Well, what about like, I, obviously you were early removed from high school. So like, I mean, you had, you know, your high school friends and all of that when they first saw this work. Let me ask you Talk this. To, I, I want to hear more. I want to hear what more, what Mima think thought of this whole thing. Yeah, no, I, well, but I, more, one question: like, were your friends? Would they consider you more the um, most likely to get arrested flashing in the library candidate, oh, yeah. or were they? Oh yeah, the, no, yeah, 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 yeah. hundred percent. Been... My okay. friends, the group of friends that I had in high school, we would drive around and they would have me flash people because none of them had big tits, so it was like cool for me to like. We it's, like, like titties it's like the one like high school buddy people. everybody's got that's got a giant dick and he pulls it out everywhere. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. They were like, flash him, flash him, anything, anything they wanted. They'd be like, she show you your tits, her tits and all these things. I'm like, I'm just a pair of tits to everybody, apparently. But it was pretty funny. And my grandma, actually, my grandma was, was, uh, was really cool. She, I just explained to her that this is like things people are doing these days. You know, I'm just online. I'm not like meeting people in person and I make right. good money and I'm happy. Most importantly, I'm happy with my life, and that was it. That's cool. And it's you support. look, and you look like you're suffering right now. So, <laughs> yeah. although here, here in uh, beautiful uh, Corona-ridden New Jersey, it is actually like 85 degrees here. Saying that, you know, the end of days. Yeah, okay. It's I could, I, you know what? Don't make me go upstairs and show you my white trash oasis in the backyard <laughs> with the above ground pool. You got a cool man cave going in, on. In I central like New it. Jersey. I do. I do have the man cave. Yeah. If you saw the other side of the basement, you'd be like fucking calling hoarders, <laughs> probably. <laughs> be calling the police pay no exactly. attention to the man behind the curtain <laughs> there is not a well with a rope and a bucket with lotion <laughs> Seriously. Uh, <laughs> um, oh. so and you you love doing shit and you know just for shock value didn't you do a video with like a pizza delivery guy like the, like the whole cl porno cliche and you off i mean you offer the guy the blow job and i think he turned yeah. you down yeah uh I forget about this video, but it people told me it was viral, like that it went like semi-viral, you know, and that they've seen it a lot. And I was like, well, that's embarrassing. Because first of all, I was like webcamming and I was like a noob. So I was like, I was probably like, oh, if you guys give me like to $100, like I'll offer to blow the pizza man and like all these things. And then they picked out my outfit and things well, like that. And then, yeah, I was so nervous. It's funny. I did that another time. My, my roommates that kicked me out after I partied they hated me because I answered every time I would order pizza I would answer topless and they were like you know you could get in a lot of trouble and it's always like a guy and they're always like wow thanks <laughs> but I think that was the beginning of me starting to be like you know what I really don't give a fuck if people see me naked like that was me starting to like really grow into an exhibitionist I guess there's <laughs> steps somebody's gonna call the Domino's quality control and complain oh my god this guy <laughs> he delivered my pizza no. and he wouldn't let me blow him. No, yeah. Basically, like he didn't take my free blow job. I'm really pissed about it. <laughs> so and did he say why, or he just thought it was like? I you... think that he hit Dude, me it's... up afterwards. I think once I became library girl, he was like, "Yo, I was that pizza delivery guy, and I was just so nervous, and I just didn't That's... know, you know, what to do, and I didn't want to get in trouble at work." That is straight things. stage Dude, right You are right not, there. You are not no, getting in trouble with that at work. You're getting high-fived and congratulated and a contract <laughs> for, you know, and and hit up for your address. Uh, <laughs> that would anyway. be your address. They delivered the and pizza. And I know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> thing. I mean, you, you, like, really took, like, you know, that. I mean, was it Kanye just signed a sweatshirt with you on it? Yeah, it was a t-shirt from the Pornhub Awards for sure. I think it's funny, though. If you look at the picture, I thought it was cool. And then my sister was like, you look like that alien from Men in Black in the gun shop when he shoots his head off and it starts growing back. And he's like, do you know how much that hurts? Like, <laughs> that's, and I looked at a picture of it and right when his head's growing back and I was like, that's exactly what I look like. <laughs> oh, man. oh, my God. Well, cool. I mean, I'm, I feel honored. <laughs> nah, so, I mean, look, I mean, well, honored is what we are. We, we want to bring in our next guests for sure that are going to be joining the rest of our thing. I, I mean, these young ladies do a show called two girls one mic <laughs> nice job I, said that. I know and i'm fucking already high this I, is great i was waiting and for it <laughs> this is gonna be a fucking shit show jay um so it always is yeah they're i mean if you guys have ever seen it uh you got to go on their you know, website and check out the podcast it's spelled out two girls one mic 
um, dot com. But we wanted to welcome here uh, Alice Vaughn and watch this shit, Yvette Dontremont. <laughs> Fucking got that shit. Wow, wow damn. I'm fucking French, yeah. motherfucker. It only took him seven weeks, but he's now officially legit. Seven hits, motherfucker. You're in the club. <laughs> yes. So, welcome. Hey, guys. Thank you. Yo, I, we are much lower on the fucking pay scale than you guys are with this shit. We have no... You guys are professionals. We're, I mean... We're, we're on the zero pay scale at this point. Yeah, so... <laughs> we're on the borderline breaking even pay scale, oh, so... Woo. Wait, so maybe we're ahead of you. We're at zero. You guys, you guys are legit. <laughs> I mean, you know, you're funny. I mean, you certainly look a hell of a lot better than Jay and I do. Um, this is all contouring. Beforehand, my five o'clock shadow was very hard to cover up. <laughs> I mean, you know, how many people can say they've been on Joe Rogan uh, experience for two and a half hours? Uh, apparently 380 some odd just got by the episode number count that, I believe. that is super cool uh, the, that it must was, have been quite an experience it was intense uh i now it's normally i'm good at like doing my research before going on a thing and like i'd done some a decent amount of media before that and i went in there uh because i'd written an article debunking chiropractic as a whole and i don't feel like getting into an argument on that so please don't fight me uh but you know he <laughs> he likes the article and he from what i got gathered he had um you know, he'd seen like videos of chiropractors like manipulating the you know backs of wrestlers or uh, or MMA fighters, and he's like, "This is bullshit. Someone's going to get hurt." So when he saw my article, he's like, "Yes, someone's confirming my beliefs." And you know, luckily I was confirming it with science, uh, so he had me on. But man, I didn't realize he was one of the biggest podcasts in the. I got so much hate mail, and I still well, occasionally someone will send me a piece of hate mail from that appearance. And it's people like, hate him, or they love him. I mean, it's one I, way or the love other. Him. Yeah, they they do, but like people did not like that I was debunking a thing that they liked because uh, okay. I I took a very hard like we like at, the outline unfortunately just closed because you know places go bankrupt the, but the place that I was writing for like we had the same uh, uh, law firm like going over my work that works for uh, John Oliver last week tonight like we were really careful not to say anything that was incorrect but man people did like telling me that I was wrong by calling me a cunt so <laughs> that was you know. Yeah, Welcome really, to the internet. Yeah, yeah. I really watched a gen- I watched that. a gentleman the other day, by the way, and that movie has to set a record for the use of the word "cunt." I I think I have to watch it now. Oh, it's yeah, and evidently, I mean, we heard yeah, we had uh, Tanya Tate on last week, uh, who's a big you know, milf uh, porn star from England, as you would hear in her voice. And I don't know if you guys ever met Tanya. I mean, oh, she she's lovely, she's lovely. <laughs> and she, and she's she hasn't lost the accent yet. And I swear to God, she'll she'll drop that word. And it sounds polite coming from her. It does. It sounds. It's somehow it sounds polite in a British accent, and not so much in an Australian one. Yeah, I agree. I guess, even though I really can't really tell the difference between the two of them. But, and Alice, uh, you have like one of the greatest products ever that you created. <laughs> I saw this shit, and I was like fucking hysterical. So. Alice did uh, came out with this uh, thing, offensive crayons. Okay. Um, and is it just bullshit, or you really got banned from Amazon? <laughs> <laughs> no, I have been banned from Amazon, and I have the legal documents from their team. After several weeks of review, they stated that they couldn't have my product on their site because it offended children and Caucasians. And Caucasians. I mean, did it actually well, say that? They actually said that. And look, in their defense, they're Worth not it. wrong. <laughs> they are the two most sensitive groups. <laughs> well, Caucasians will get offended on behalf of other people. Well, what was like, so what was your name for orange, let's say? Presidential. Um, yellow? Uh, I had a few, but I had Me Color You Long Time and Golden Shower Golden Rod. Uh, I don't even want to ask black. Oh, lives matter. Okay. Although my uh, con- the one I actually wanted to go with, but too many people didn't get the joke, was uh, three fifths white. We were going deep into history on that one. Exactly. And, and yeah. if I think you get the joke. Great. You know what we've what we've learned is, you know, all anybody gives a fuck right now about are Kendra's boobs. Like Literally. we could be say we could be actually giving the cure so, for Corona. 
right? They might be. We could do right here over fucking thing. The we cure can for give them Corona is in Kendra's boobs, as far as I'm concerned. Yes. This is but why scientists say, haven't found it. If and nobody would give a fuck what we're saying, but the minute her her boobs pop in. So you know, there's there's a reason why sorry. there's a reason why the four of us are in this little corner on the bottom hand, left hand side, and then I see I see Kendra's boobs just kind of like dangling <laughs> over the top of us. So you know that that works for me. Yeah, no, it really does. Um, I am I mean, we, fine with this arrangement. Plus, I'm jealous. She's sitting out by a pool, bathing suit, smoking a blunt. Like that's that, that's where and I he's want, in that's Philly. I be. And I'm in I'm Philly. In, I'm in an attic, formerly occupied by a order but at least i'm in la so okay Very don't forget cool. about my burger don't forget about your burger looks like a good burger she's really fucking high right now <laughs> <laughs> I'm, try, I'm trying to catch up but it looks oh, like I'm i've got up. a ways to and go and i found this stuff i went to Stu leonard's which is this, like cool like store here and it, it's like kind of like the ikea of supermarkets it's actually you know everybody just walks through the maze to get and i found this shit it was like blind lemon hard seltzer but I used to work, as Jay knows, I, I used to be the tour manager for Blind Melon, like many <gasps> moons ago. At nice. eight, one oh of the, my God. Their, one of their first. But it, tell me this isn't a ripoff of their logo. That is definitely no, a ripoff. It's, it's just the letters, it's just the letters transposed. Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. But I mean, does it give you some sense of nostalgia? No. It's, it's, he, it's bought, actually, he bought it, so I mean. Yeah, it was like, I just bought it. It was like $24 for the fucking 12 pack. I'm like, what did I just do? I bought that and peanut butter bourbon. But. Again, I digress. I'm not allowed to drink hard liquor on here. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> I, yeah, I, no. I, I feel like, you know, things. if things aren't getting silly enough, like at the half hour mark, you should drink some hard liquor. Okay. I yeah. think that's I'm a good already... litmus. Uh, Alice? Oh, I was just going to say, I'm already drinking hard liquor. I've got some... Uh... Vodka and cranberry. Uh, this is my second glass, so things are about to get crazy because I'm a lightweight. Oh boy! I recorded a podcast before this, and I was high for that one. So <laughs> we're just gonna. So she'll be. A, we'll, we'll tuck you in by the end of this. Ken, Kendra, oh, no, you, I, I have yeah. tolerance. <laughs> Kendra, you love smoking. I mean, do you get do you get high before like every scene or? No, not really. I try not to before my scenes because it makes me dry and I get a dry mouth. So and I get mouth. like my eyes get lower, and I'm just like you know lazy. <laughs> but now on like quarantine days, please tell me you like step out of bed, wake and bake, and jump in the pool. I mean, I don't live at this pool. It's quite unfortunate. Uh, okay. I just my roommate um, Carmen just, Caliente was coming today, and I was like, I want to go. Don't leave me home, please. Nice. <laughs> so, what yeah. are, what have you been up to? I mean, I are you you're just only fans in it and you know trying yeah. to stay on top of it creating our own content really now and just trying to stay home and la is crazy <laughs> we're on lockdown for three more months so there's not really much to do trying to, to stay sane and not get depressed and everything <laughs> we're stuck inside so all three of you all three ladies are west coast right now no no are you I'm east coast oh no. uh, where, oh, where are you where at Oh, I'm in uh, the hub of the apocalypse, New York City. New York City. Oh, you're in nice. the city. Well, I'm just over the bridge in, in northern New Jersey, in Bergen County, New Jersey. Oh, it's man. It's worse. Yeah. It's pretty bad here. Yeah. I I'm mean, it's New Jersey. It's always going to be worse. I'm, I, thank you. <laughs> Couldn't agree with so I So, like I said, I have this theory that weed helps ward off corona. That's a cute theory. Yeah, it is really cute. <laughs> All right, so. I, I say this, and I would love if that were true, because I am a debunker of things, and I love science, and I fucking love weed. Yeah, yeah, uh, so. But no, uh, no evidence to suggest that that is accurate at this point, my friend. Is there evidence that it makes it worse? <laughs> no, no, no evidence to that either, though. So as, if as you're far as like high, smoking and stuff. So. My, the best thing you can do right now is to continue to socially, di as long as people are being assholes and not socially distancing in hot spots, the best thing you can do is socially distance and wear a mask when you're, when you, for those things that are uh, necessary. And like the weirdest quirk from this that we found so far is that smokers are actually less likely to have a bad case of this than non-smokers or people who used to smoke even. So I'm not saying to take up smoking cigarettes, but that's the weirdest fucking thing that I found out from a relatively large study so cigarette smoking not a cure but apparently preventative on right. this one all right so, so two things weird two yeah. things alice has she ever fucking led you astray 
uh, has that ever, ever led me astray? Because, like, one time, for example, Jay said, eat this. And I'm like, are you sure this is only 10 milligrams? He's like, yeah, it is. And then the next thing I know is laying in a bed comatose and at the Hard Rock watching Shark Week during the AVN Awards. Who hasn't done that? I, I bet you can just done the same thing. I so, if I, mean, I was I, lying in a bed comatose, I mean, a bed would do other things aside from lead me astray. <laughs> okay. I'm kidding. <laughs> I mean, I thought you would keep that our secret. God. I'm not saying I wouldn't. I'm just the so will Yvette, they won't though. Yvette is like legit. So and Kendra, I don't know if you know this. So Yvette holds multiple degrees. So you have a BS in chemistry and a BA in theater because you know, one of them I wanted a career, the other one daddy didn't hug me enough. So, you know. Could have been worse. He could have and, hugged me too much. And you have um, a master's in forensic, forensic science. Forensics with a, with a concentration in biological criminalistics. Wow. So she's really fucking smart. She, Sounds so, like a lot of school. So, I, yeah. it's, it was, but I, I survived, and now I'm here to tell you how to how to make it through this without either... Oh, I mean, here's the thing. We're, some of us are going to get it just from going to the grocery store. We're going to be unlucky caller 1000 who touches the wrong surface, but there are ways we can safeguard ourselves, and one of the best things that we can do, because the kind of scary weed. thing with us... Yes, weed. No. <laughs> weed will help... Do the things that are going to keep you mentally sane right now, because that's the hardest part of this. Like, I've broken down crying over fucking nothing from this. And I don't know if, like, it's if 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 a friend of yours has, because all of you guys, I'm sure, are much more sane than me. But, you know, your friend has had a bad day and cried about this. It's totally all right. You're, it's 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 normal. This Dan, is a Dan rough and I cry to each other. We, we, cry. <laughs> you, we, we you take a turns, though. You cry to. Yeah, it's, it's all about it's, finding that friend that one day will be the shoulder to cry on, and then the next day is crying on your shoulder. Yeah. You can never, if, if you sync up like periods, it doesn't go. It, 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 both of you can't have a bad day at the same time. You gotta, you gotta, I, th I think all, days. I think all four of us want to be Kendra's friend and cry on her yeah, bosom. I if, I, that's, if she'll, if she's there to lend one of those pillows, I will. I will hope it's absorbent. That is that is my because I'm crying a lot. They look. Are they are they absorbent, Kendra? Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, they absorb my tears, so that's, <laughs> that's all that matters. <laughs> tears are of guys, joy. But are you guys holding up? How are you guys like? I mean, beyond the science of this, how are how are you guys holding up? Um, for me, it's interesting. Yeah. I have how long you I'm got? A single dad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, Let's see, my livelihood is falling down the shitter <laughs> in a swirly way, not Australian way, the other way. <laughs> um, it's, I have, I'm a single dad to two teenage kids. My daughter, not to get really graphic, just, you know, became kind of, she's 15, but, you know, some things yeah, happened over this yeah, quarantine yeah, for her. Let's put it yeah. that way. Oh yeah, so it's a yellow, yeah, it's, so I got to deal with that shit, you know, hormones and all that. Um, what else here? Oh, I thought uh, you were going to say herpes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, but she, but she was, as she likes to tell everybody, she was gonorrhea in her eighth grade health project. <laughs> no, and there's nothing to be ashamed of with that. My and you know what? Cool. As the clap, I'm sure people clapped for her. Yes. It could. Well done. well done, my punning linguist. <laughs> She's so funny. Punning linguist, not cunning linguist. No. I like what you did there. You made a pun out of it. Goes without yes. <laughs> explaining. Um... <laughs> But no, I mean it's you know it's look, work. I work for, I work from home a lot anyway. So, but other than our shows getting canceled left and right, not canceled, which, postponed. postponed. Sorry, postponed. And don't you dare debunk that shit. <laughs> no, no, it's we're having my, shows in 2020. Postponed. Spring will return again. Oh. I it's I you know and it's just. It's it's scary because we don't know when this is going to go away. So the best thing that we can all do to help with this is lock down hard. And I mean, I know it's hard in a country where people value haircuts over grandma's life. Uh, but, you know, like the more we avoid things like, you know, like going to those unnecessary things, like, you know, go to the grocery store when you need to. If you need to go to a doctor's appointment, go to that. If you have a necessary uh, or an essential job, do that. But the more we all avoid each other, faster, harder, you know, like the best parts of porn, uh, the sooner we get to all get in, t in, in touch and start licking each other again. So faster, harder lockdown, and then we get to go and lick each other don't, soon. Don't get any <laughs> ideas, Jay. 
Kendra, I mean, also, I, guys, yeah. consider that there won't be a second wave of coronavirus if the first one never ends. Yeah, <laughs> like the second wave is going to be. I'm gonna, I'm gonna not terrify you too much, but like, yeah, the, it's going to be pretty bad because it really hasn't ended, and people are starting to unlock while there are still a lot of cases that are that are asymptomatic and that are floating out there to spread this. So, right now is a bad time to go out and get a haircut, is what I'm saying. What we're also saying is we really want to see gangbangs happen again, and we yes. can't get the gangbangs if everybody's not the, the prob- I need the- new buckets of splooge in women's faces. God damn it. How else am I going to come? So please stay home for now. Kendra, what are your thoughts? I mean, you can join my OnlyFans at OnlyFans.com. <laughs> Good. Support the porn stars. This is a hard time Kendra. for them. Full-length videos at KendraSunderlandVIP.com. Free videos at KSVideos.com. <laughs> Those are professional boobs. They deserve your support. Well, Those are do. amazing. My Thank boobs don't do that. Well, <laughs> well, you mentioned you mentioned protect. Gra- is your your grandmother still alive, Kendra? I hope. Um, one of them that I remember, one of them that had called me, um, isn't. But my other grandparents are. And recently, when I saw them to visit I was like oh yeah I went to um, Hawaii and I went to Thailand and I went to Jamaica and you know uh, Los Angeles is great and then they're like how do you have the money to do all this and they're so old I was like oh you know like these days people you know Instagram and Snapchat you probably don't know what Snapchat is and they're like no and I was like yeah you know move on you better hope <laughs> let's, that they don't try and let's connect push them to, to their try and find out what yeah. Snapchat is I know, you can get a shirt that's like you know like Look, I'm I'm 36 and I don't understand how to use Snapchat. So Snapchat actually <laughs> Snapchat broke me. That was the one I always what? you always wonder where as you get older like where that line Which is app? drawn where you're like I I don't know what this I don't I don't get this. Yeah, and TikTok, TikTok TikTok is officially like two apps too far for me yep, now. Yep, no, yep, but do, I lost Kendrick, on Snapchat. Do you do TikTok? No, I mean, I have a TikTok and I have like some things on there, but I'm not serious with it. But recently I've been like just watching it because it's funny and it takes yeah. like, you know, my anxiety away and I, you know, not thinking about the world and everything going on. They're just funny and they're short. So you just keep scrolling. So I'm on there watching a lot and there's a lot of funny TikToks, but there's, there's a lot of cringe and people dancing and shit. So. <laughs> you know what takes my anxiety <laughs> like, away? This the cure for Corona. It's we're gonna it's it's we're gonna pretend it is, and it's gonna make us feel better while we're staying at home, not exactly. spreading Corona. That's, <laughs> and you know, it's, oh, so briefly last year, while I was having uh, it's, I was having some health issues that basically. Like, Long story short, I was working for a mobile weed delivery service at one point, uh, and it's, it terrifies me thinking that people are still out uh, doing uh, that at this point in time. Because, like, what if you end up at a house where someone's going to cough that on you? You were just out Wait, to deliver. We the can't box. order takeout. We can't order delivery. Oh no! Like, I, it's here's the thing. That's that's the thing that you're. Um, that's perfectly. I, I look at that and go, that's perfectly healthy. But like, I remember uh, being at that office and thinking, um, the thing that made me quit that job was somebody. Uh, uh, was held up at gunpoint uh, for forty dollars worth of pot, and now with people having economic issues, I'm like, how um, how much scarier is it now to go out on a de- on a delivery? No, and you know they're rolling with cash, so it's you know, I mean, that's is it probably the only way. You, could you pay by credit card? By they, then? Oh yeah, they they do have do now know? in California, people can pay with credit card, but I like there California's were some way ahead of. Say oh yeah, <laughs> but yeah. There, oh yeah, but there were some uh, cash deliveries, and there was a girl that got held up at gunpoint, and I quit the next day. Yeah. No. So that was my side hustle was dealing drugs. Kendra, Kendra, did you have a uh, first side hustle? Be- was Kendra's only fans? Kendra Sunderland. Before you, yeah, before you became a uh, library girl, did you have any like high school jobs or co- you know college jobs? Um, yeah, I used to babysit a lot, and then I worked at my friend's parents' uh, easel company. It was, like, for painting, and they would make wood panels, so I actually worked, like, with a nail gun and, like, a sander and, like, drilling holes, and I worked in the office, and then I worked for my boyfriend's parents that have, like, an auction company, and I would pack things and work in their office because I'm very, like, I'm, like, very computer savvy and stuff like that, and... (coughs) just good at it and then I got a waitressing job and I got fired from that and I don't know why you you, you don't know why you got fired you just got fired well I mean they said they didn't have um they were like a small business and they didn't have in the college town that I was in they didn't have 
enough money coming in to support all the waitresses but then I saw they kept like a couple of them so I was like I probably broke too many glasses or it would come in high all the time or could be like that. yeah it was <laughs> anyways it was annoying boys would come in and be like um can I have some ice water just so I would like bend over and grab the like cold glass and fill it for them and give it to them I'm like ugh yeah. And, I do porn. and so you you obviously like took off like a shot in college when when the whole thing went down <laughs> I, I i have to imagine that like the six months following like the arrest and all of that by the way were you ever were you convicted of it did they throw it away or did they throw it out or uh it's a public indecency misdemeanor i think it's off my record now yeah um, yeah. For you, you'd probably want to keep it on there. It's like it's like a. I mean, you know, I don't want anything on my record. Keep it hung on honest. the wall. <laughs> but Alex. I would rather have. Po- it's but, an interesting thing to explain, especially when I was like trying to get into homes and Oregon. I had to say that I had a public indecency charge and what it was for. So that was like awkward. That makes sense. Yeah. No, Alice totally. looks like a real like troublemaker. Alice, like, what have you been picked up for? Like, what have you, you know? Who here's been in handcuffs? For? Raise your hand. Well, I've been in handcuffs. However, oh, dude, that's, that's, um, that's, no. who's been well, in handcuffs from a cop? Okay, Wait, it's a bad question. Well, still. hold on. Does it count if you were bank? Wait, her? am I really the only no. one? No, 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 no. I'm with you. Don't worry, girlfriend. I'm, I, <laughs> I'm with you. Too. Yeah. I've only been in handcuffs willingly. Okay, that, that's probably the best term for it. <laughs> Jay, what, what did you go for? Uh, pick pick a time. <laughs> Let's, like, let's just say I've I, been in for weed. Yeah, I was. I definitely had my my eighteen to <clears throat> twenty one. Once I became legal with alcohol and it stopped being like dangerously fun, my life like turned around. But that eighteen to twenty one year old range was like, oops, some some real touch and go shit. <laughs> so when I, was a, when I was a teenager, it was attempted car theft because myself and two other people. Um, we decided to like, it was a little car. We decided to like, kind of pick it up and like, try and move it. Just like fucking around. We thought it was our friend's car. So you didn't actually like hot wire it and drive it away. No, but they said because it moved, that's what they could get us. Uh, that's, that's some, that's some shit right there. <laughs> I know that's some shit. And another time was inciting a riot. Well, oh my God. <laughs> you, I, we need the story. The world needs the story. I used to be a tour manager for bands. We were playing a club in, um, with a band. There was a band from Holland called the Sleazebees. Great name. I know. It was like, you know, it was the 90s, Crickets. early 90s, you know, the hair metal shit. But anyway, so they were, we were playing, it was in Springfield, Missouri, I believe. Yep, Springfield, Missouri. And they were playing a club and there was like some stupid thing where they wanted to put the drinkers up top and the, you know, the all ages down below. And then the bands just got pissed off and said, well, then, you know, if you do that, then I'm going up to, you know, drink with the guys up there. And they go, if you do that, then we're going to arrest you. And, and we're going to arrest him, pointing at me. And he did it, and I got arrested. Lame. <laughs> oh, man. I, and they, I, were a shitty, they were a shitty band, too. It's like, like if, you, if I said it was Blind Melon that did it, you know, then it would be like a cool story. Right. Like Shannon Hoon went upstairs, you know, did some fucking shit. It would have been better. But it, it was really, I know, it's, I know you look very disappointed, Yvette. Yeah. Like, don't judge me. It's yeah. not nice. I... <laughs> <laughs> I actually so got a, you, I, I almost got arrested for inciting a riot at the very first Exotica um, on I was 26 years old just started this thing like had no idea what it was and I uh, ended up um, still have out, no idea what it's out I know we still haven't figured it out um, out in front of the lobby where they had a bunch of protesters out there and stuff and I got my picture taken like in front of them with an I love pussy t-shirt and it was just they freaked <laughs> out and it was like apparently the uh the cops like grabbed me and grabbed ted our photographer or well was our makeshift photographer at the time and um he uh yeah, he had a he, camera he, he saved my ass basically <laughs> um and yeah that was that was my one of the more famous photos of of myself what if, what if your shirt said i love cock would they have been quick to accost you <sighs> probably not not nearly i don't think so I, I seriously think they would leave you alone Oh man, the days all the way back in 2006. Uh, Kendra was like, We've actually said cock seven. and cunt in the same thing in this thing, by the way. Yeah. Oh, really? America. America. Mm-hmm. You said cock and cunt in this episode. I don't think I heard the C word come out of that. Was the pre, that was the pre show. Oh, that, was, that was before this? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, now I said it. So I said, there you go. <laughs> somebody else say cunt so it Sorry. makes you feel better? No, not at all. Cunt? Everybody, it's not, no longer illegal. 
callous at it. Um, geez, so some of the things you debunked, Yvette, because I want to get down to the bottom of some things here. Oh, boy. All right, so it was mainly like a lot of things like chiropractic. Um, they love to be called... They like they like it when you call it bone crackers too. They love when you call them that. Oh yeah, it's the, all the hate mail told me that they loved everything in that article. <laughs> um, what was the other? So uh, another thing you did was like CVS constipation relief. Uh yeah, so CVS has this. I or t- uh, specifically this is good it was s- specifically it was homeopathy because uh, a lot of homeopathic remedies they're basically just sugar and or water, uh, but CVS had this child homeopathic constipation relief med that I looked at it, and it was twenty percent alcohol. Like there were no active ingredients that would relieve um, constipation, but it had 20% alcohol. So I just bought a bunch of bottles and bought a breath, a small breathalyzer test to prove that you could get drunk on this. And because they had a sale on it, you could get drunk at about the same amount that it would cost you at the bar to get drunk. So I'm like, and of course they were not carding for this. So this was just a stunt. How obviously. Much, how much of this did you have to buy? Uh, God, um, because it was, a, and it, one bottle was about the same amount as a shot. Um, I, I forget like five or six bottles um but like i am also a lightweight so it took very little to get me drunk so who i mean everybody's done something right to try and get high or drunk or drank something like oh I yeah think- robo tripping still great <laughs> i mean you shouldn't do it and it's a bad idea wait would you what is it Robo tripping. Yeah, uh, I've never heard that. Took a so ton dextromethor- of, yeah. De- uh, specifically dextromethorphan. It's the active ingredient uh, that uh, helps suppress cough in over-the-counter cough suppressants. Uh, and if you take more than you should, it can give you I some mean, dissociative properties. Yeah, so every, don't every, do that. Everybody's kids. taken like cough medicine, and you know, even if you take the normal kind, it like kind of makes you like you know woozy or whatever. Well, yeah, so you know, take six pills. Of yeah, it's a triple, party. triple, quadruple up on that, and you know, let it. Fly lie smoked have you ever smoked anything kendra or alice well alice you don't smoke right did you ever i've smoked. tried what's and what's anything <laughs> yeah. no but like you used to hear like banana peels or like oh, let me try this you know thing. no man i was from vermont all my friends parents had weed so it was like you didn't need to smoke banana peels you just went to your parents like nightstand and grabbed whatever weed you wanted i'm too afraid it's going to show up on my permanent record <laughs> banana peels oh, don't think really? I don't that's so, how much of like a child i am baby we're as, in the apocalypse a, you know what i now is now is the time to do record? all the drugs Here, you know here's the worst part i have now okay so i've become an adult and i now dun, have dun, connections dun. to have okay i have believe it or not <laughs> i'm an adult now but i now have connections to uh people who have some really good drugs who have given it to me but I feel like I've been saving that shit, and now I don't know what to do with it. So I'm like, take I it. have mushrooms. Wait, wait, do you what take it? Hold it. Wait, 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 hold on. What, what, yes. you, what you holding? Yes, what you holding? take mushrooms. If you don't take mushrooms in the apocalypse, you send them to your to your mushrooms. hetero life mate. I'm yeah. just saying. Seriously. I enjoy myself so All much. in favor of Alice eating a mushroom right now. Raise your hand. <laughs> we, we, we're going we, off we camera. Will stay, we will stay on this show for the or, whole night. We, just watch you check your face off. Go <laughs> off the camera and take the mushrooms. Don't so worry, you have possible Alice. deniability. We'll, but... we'll talk you through it. It'll be. It'll all be fine. It, don't I, uh, worry. Hold I on a second. I'll turn lights. my lights. Don't worry, Alex. You'll be fine. We got, we got you covered. I, uh, we got I, you. I go, for... go to Kendra's <laughs> office. all of a sudden. <laughs> Patreon.com slash Kendra, you're you're from you're from uh Portland, right? Uh Salem, but not the one with the witches. Have you uh, so Pacific Northwest, have you ever seen Bigfoot there? And Yvette, does Bigfoot exist? Kendra first. I've never <laughs> personally seen him, no. Okay. So the most scientifically sound answer one can give on this is we have no evidence to suggest that there is a Bigfoot. However, as science evolves with new information, if there ever does come evidence into uh, into our knowledge of this, we will change our mind. But because we have done so much searching, it would be very unlikely that we will find evidence of a Bigfoot. You know what, Dan? Oh. It's that actually, said, it's a, I'm, Bigfoot erotica does exist, so... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, go, I'm going to... Bigfoot I'm, erotica? I'm going to go against all of this and yeah. say that I've actually seen Bigfoot in Portland. That is he, what we know as he was, an anecdote. He, he, was, he was buying crystal meth at the McDonald's parking <laughs> lot. 
I remember that guy. <laughs> Yo, let me tell you. Okay, so okay. do you go back to Portland a lot, Kendra? Yeah, I go back home. Have you guys? Yeah. Have you guys ever it's, been to Portland? It, no, was, not yet. I've heard right. good things though. No, oh, so yeah, it's yeah. an it's an amazingly right. beautiful city. It, it's you know out in the middle of the country. It's I mean it's it's beautiful. Yeah, it's not and, the middle of the country. It's the end of the. No, country. No, but you know what I mean. It's like a country ish. And but that being said, well, there green are everywhere is what he's saying. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there are every mile and a half. There is a broken down camper that's on the side of the street that people live in. That's a thing. <laughs> there are For tent real. cities that are bigger than like a New York City block. Like there. I mean, it's just like, you know, you see them forever. He's exaggerating. And when you go to McDonald's, there will always be somebody buying meth. At every single McDonald's, twenty four hours a day, the whole with time. Their kid. <laughs> with, with their kid, usually with a child. Like we saw this, it, it multiple times. It's crazy. Like the drug problem that they have, and it's it's not people smoking too much weed. It's like people, you know, doing heroin and like going to McDonald's. Like it was. Alice, e each room's not meth. Yeah. <laughs> it was. It's pretty it's crazy. They're not though. a gateway to meth. Yeah. Don't worry. You well, know oh. that's. I was going to say that if you guys do want to ever talk about Bigfoot and sex, uh, so we have a guest co-host, Natalia Reagan, who actually has broken down on a number of podcasts about how I think either Bigfoot would have small junk or be predominantly female uh, regarding specifically Bigfoot and Bigfoot erotica. So uh, that said, I, I can't tell you anything about meth. I've never done it. <laughs> <laughs> How the fuck did you get there? And, and she, you know how she got there? She's the only one in this thing that's not high right now. No, no, she, yes. she is all over it. Yeah. She's drunk, though. Or no, drinking. I'm not sure if she's drunk. Drinking. <laughs> drinking. She's drinking. The teensiest bit. I really, really but want to see you possibly eat shrooms right now. No. Yeah, not seriously, because we're going to gonna wrap a show in, in 20 minutes, and you're going to be tripping out for the rest of the here. night. I will stay here and watch this. Dude, what are you going to watch? Uh, 90 Day Fiance, Jay? Seriously? Dude, it's I, hey, there's a cliffhanger. Okay, let's 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 talk about 90 Day Fiance. I was talking about it and I was what? like, "Hey, I watched What's... that show." Yo, what is let 90... me tell you. Okay. Kendra, can, you can and I are going to hang me... out. Yeah. Let me give you what? the rundown. You know what it is? So here's yeah, what it I is. Yeah, I need to know. What is, what's the rundown? Okay, Kendra. All I know is that the lesbian couple has been compared to me and a bet. Oh my god, that's so funny. I understand that, but I feel like he should explain the concept of the show because he seems more of an expert at it. And I just started watching because of that guy with no neck. So, okay. So here's the deal. I started season one. I'm like almost through season one. And basically what it is, is it's like American people either obviously are waiting to be catfished by somebody like overseas or whatever, or it's somebody who is so obviously out of their league that the only reason that anybody would ever marry this person is because they're trying to get a green card coming into the country. And so like, you know, perfect example. Wow. There's this, this one dude, the first episode or the first season, Stick to little, facts, not conjecture. Little dude. little skinny, you know, like blonde dude or whatever. He's like obviously like kind of, you know, little geeky and definitely doesn't look like he would be out like picking up girls. Gets hooked up with this chick in like outside of Belize and he has to like go and like ride up a fucking river for like three days to like get to this like town where he gets off and he talks to like, I mean, obviously this is like the only opportunity that this person has to get out of wherever they are, you know, and he goes in, he brought like a full bodysuit of like bug repellent stuff and wearing and like, he's like got waders on so he can get in the water. He has literally brought a thing that he, you, uh, uh, the, a net that you put over your dick and then you put a condom over it so that like the fish that swim or parasites that swim up your pee don't like get into your urethra and like what this guy is out of his goddamn mind. Anyways, long story short, I just love Alice's face the, right now. The the the, the his his the, the girl for being like you know three a three day trip up river is smoking hot. Like she is like okay. uh, she's beautiful. I mean, you know her body is Kendra crazy. I mean she or like reality TV smoking hot. Like not below Kendra, but not ever what you would expect three days up the river to yield. 
if that makes sense. Like it, I, it's, I mean, I would I, hope I, if you're going three days up the river, no, it'd be worth it for some s- decent looking tits. So he gets this chick and he brings her back to like the town, like close by or whatever. He requires her to take like a pregnancy test and a uh, 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 sexually transmitted I'm disease to get test. Liquor. Anybody want some? <laughs> Go right ahead. Just listen to your fucking story is like exhausting. And and so the whole story is just about this guy basically like, you know, is love real? And like, will she really love me? And then by the way, the hook is that at the end he says like, oh, by the way, my last girlfriend had like a restraining order against me and I lit her house on fire and burned it down. And you're like, and then cut scene. (laughs) And like it goes to the next episode. Note that all the women in this conversation have the exact same reaction because we're like, you know, we've all been desperate and ended up with that asshole. You you see this guy and he's like kind of like quiet and geeky and kind of whatever within himself. And then all of a sudden he's like, oh, yeah, by the way. I stalk women and I burn their houses down, you know, and it's just like, I'm really glad you're in a desperate situation so I can fuck up your life permanently. It it basically, it, and I think it relates a lot to like the TikTok (laughs) videos that Kendra was talking about where it's like, you can sit down and check out. There is no thinking to it. There is no like, gee, I wonder why that, like, it is. I, I, I mean, had, I'm kind of questioning why that guy would say are that. Are we still talking about this shit? <laughs> it's, it's I never I had a desire to watch 90 drink, Day Jay. Fiance until now. Did, I, I have but a... This, ser- this break in 90 Day Fiance brought to you by Screwball, Peanut Butter Bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Peanut in all Butter Bourbon? So why are guys on such a scale of, like, one end where, oh, they're quiet, but there's arson involved? Yeah. Or on the other end where... You know, he looks homeless, but he's the best sex of your life, and you'll never <laughs> talk to him again. Why is it such a scale? It's tough. Uh, here, here's when you so throw like, it at I, TV, it gets even worse. That's the whole problem. Like this cheers, shit. Jay, you, you made me drink, Jay. I yeah. By the way, I have a, I have a tendency. Oh my of, god, this is amazing. When I watch stuff like that or anything, putting myself in a different position like imagine being the father of this girl where this random white guy from another country shows up and rides up the river and comes in and is like can i marry your daughter like i mean yeah and then btw <laughs> oh, houses on fire yeah he wants to take one it of to our audience effect. watching it says best show ever wait, wait <laughs> they're on drugs um, <laughs> somebody, they, said they, yeah. somebody said opiates so are dopey. Are they ate the mushrooms and somebody said hi is someone talking those things are nice and wanted to know if you had legs <laughs> all of us they no, want to know I think just you I, I don't know Which, just me I don't know who I so, think we all have everybody have legs right I, I, I have at least one uh, I have no two. legs so, I think I forgot them too I have, a, I have a dog sitting between my legs is that code for something <laughs> no it's, it's it I means have a, she, has, I have she hasn't had a waxing since uh since like this whole chance. thing started. We're going to be very name. annoyed in a second for being, <laughs> you know, brought up here. I'm just going to put him back I'm, down. So I did two things to my legs the other day. So the first thing I did was I shaved and I clogged up my drain. So that was a fun time. <laughs> that nice. Nice. So, yay, pandemic. Uh, and the second Aww. thing I did was uh, I decided to use a Korean foot wrap around my feet where... Uh, Apparently, these foot wraps, they, they give you baby feet. But what I you did don't that realize, yesterday. Dude, I did it yesterday, too. Oh, my God. I, I swear to God. No. <laughs> he watched his 90 Day Fiance, and he I likes swear to feet. God. No, yeah, I swear I to God. I swear to God. I did that last night. Dude, I want, I want my feet to shed so bad. I'm like, this is amazing. My, my feet have completely, okay. I didn't expect my feet to shed so much and so quickly right. because the last time I went into the shower, I'm not joking when I said this, because uh, I, I didn't have uh, the rough feet that I had before. Right. I almost sl- I slipped in the shower. Oh man! See. <laughs> because there there Did was you accidentally fall on a plunger. <laughs> No, but there's, I, I. This wasn't a porn. <laughs> I had I have a, no, that's I, a merch room. Dan and I both share a buddy on. We share him. 
Dan, Dan and I share a guy on Facebook, a, a buddy of ours. They, they, they posted a, he posted a picture. He posted a picture of like the whole like foot thing. And it was like a week into it or whatever. And I was like, I need to fucking do that. Like that looks awesome. And all you do is you put your feet in these like little plastic or rubber or not rubber, uh, like little oh, baggies yeah. or whatever. And a few days later, you're molting like a goddamn snake. So I'm one day in and I'm, I, I don't know. It's kind of like doing LSD. You know, you do it and you're like, man, maybe I should do more. I, maybe I then, made that mistake. Okay, so I'm not no, going to do don't, that don't mistake. Don't do it yet. Yeah. Yeah. No. Don't do it. Like it's no. if nothing comes off in four days, do it again. Okay. But like I've had it take like a good three days before it started to molt. Before normally like 48 hours, and you'll at least start to see some flaking. But okay. like you forget about it, and then all of a sudden, why do my feet? Oh my god! Like yeah. and your yeah. feet are just like Dan. We're going to do a follow up next week on this. That's going to oh, just yeah. blow our viewers right through the roof. They're so excited that, to see this. I love that we all got to the point of our feet being so gross that we decided <laughs> we needed enzymes to be like our feet to be in garbage bags of enzymes at the same day of quarantine. It, you know, sometimes the stars just align. I just, I, I miss my Korean spa. Like, it's, I just, I miss Wee Spa. That's, I think that like when it's like when I get sick. What we're, and have, what we're saying is we we miss underpaid labor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah basically. We still got grocery workers. Mm. My son works True. four times as a grocery worker. And you still guy. have we can Ken, call, Kendra's OnlyFan page. And call them heroes. I'm sure Only that helps. Com slash library girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. God. I'm actually this making is... more money now because people want the pandemic explained to them. So people are paying a premium That's... for me to be funny about massive death. Ah. Welcome to Exotica TV. Death, I, I have a coloring book full of dictators. <laughs> So, if you just want to remind yourself of the fascist that no longer exists, happy little dictators only available at apprenticecrayons.com. And not oh, wait, Amazon. That got, did that get kicked off of Amazon, too? Uh, actually, I got, it, I got it back on Amazon oh, nice. through, uh, like, uh, basically I had to take, like, 17 different steps. And it's not technically my account. So we'll see how long it stays up before it gets banned because you, we have Hitler painting a dog like Bob Ross. I'm sure no one will complain about that. I actually know that somebody who owns the license to Bob Ross. <laughs> you guys should have a conversation. I mean, I, I don't know. Jay, we are in the presence of like very, very, you know. What are we in the presence of? People. Ve- nefarious people. Nefarious. Like word. Yeah. What does it mean again? Nefarious? Like, yeah. You know, I'm trying to sound smart, dude. Don't, don't, don't fucking. We got, we got fucking scientists and, you know, genius chicks on here, and <laughs> ex college students. Uh, you guys see each other, other in equal squares, but I only Boop. see Kendra like this big, Boop. and you guys it's, it's, like it's this big in the corner. I'm like, no, I'm totally fine by it. Uh, it's not distracting. It's- Kendra has a large talent. It's amazing. So I, 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 I have because bountiful talent. I, I do have a couple more questions for Kendra because I want to know like how this how how this all worked out. Like once you got out of that press conference or you know on the steps of the police station when when you did the interview, like did were the next like th- what were the next thirty sixty ninety days like? I mean, did it just like take off like an absolute shot or? We're, yeah because all of a sudden it was like library library girl to library girl yeah it was pretty crazy I definitely started taking I mean I took a weekend to myself to decide what I wanted to do with my life and then I started taking all the opportunities that came and I got started traveling I mean Exotica was one of the first the very first convention that I did and that was what I did for like a few years before what, I started doing like professional videos. What city was the first one that you did? Chicago. Chicago. Right on. Yeah. Lainey was super awesome. It's funny because I feel like I was such a baby. I was only 19 back then. So I remember, I remember the first and show. Now you you're like at. 20 years old. It's crazy. <laughs> you're going to be 25. <laughs> Woo! It's fucking aged you. So, Kendra, have you ever considered just doing a porn library tour where you see how many uh, libraries you could jerk off in across the country? I do, but I don't want to get um, charged everywhere and sued by the libraries. And I wanted to do like a college tour where I go on campuses and find guys with dorm rooms where I could fuck them in their dorm room and film it. But my friend told me that 
first of all, it's illegal, and not only will I get banned from the school, but they could sue me and all these things. It's and just it's not worth just it. Not, right, Dan, you know what they it. call that? Risk versus reward. Wait, what about a weed delivery I'm guy? I'm curious. Why would, what they, about blowing uh, a weed why would delivery the colleges guy? sue you if hypothetically you on a few screwed times. someone consensually on camera? You can't film on campus. Like, you can't in the dorm rooms. Like, that's their school. Yeah, that's, would... School owns that building. Like, Does, you can't film Do frat Fortnite. houses count? <laughs> No, but frat houses are disgusting. <laughs> As a guy who Fair. lived for one year in a fraternity house, yes, it is. So for some reason, that doesn't shock me. Oh, you. God. My it was such a bad life decision. Frat house are w- over with. <laughs> such a bad Your life decision. Getting, how, were there a lot of days of that? I mean, I had a whole freshman year of going to frat houses and partying and sleeping with people, but I mean. If I could go back, I'd definitely do more. There, there's the million dollar question. Fucking so tw- twenty my son's going out to Oregon State. Twenty four, hey, twenty five hey, year hey. old uh, library girl can give advice to nineteen year old library girl. What what what's the first thing that you would tell yourself? Um, if I could talk to nineteen year old fucking library girl, I would say. Um, Use your fucking miles for flying and write down your fucking miling, your mileage number, you know, for each fucking airline and remember it. Do your fucking taxes, you stupid bitch, and um, don't get into that relationship. <laughs> wow. That, those are three good, very good those life long tips. Also, Alice, I have yeah. an idea. Yeah. I have okay. an idea. Go for it. Okay. okay. So, I have an idea. So, you know how, like, Bibles can be, like, super tiny, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm pretty confident that there's, like, a ton of books out there that you get that to be super tiny. Just get a bunch of them and see how many you could fit up I, either your butthole or your oh, or your uterus. <laughs> you're, you, you're, I like that you use the, the correct it's term. The tiny it. library. Yeah. The tiny library. I will. You know, maybe in a couple of years, my butthole will be at that point, but I don't know. <laughs> Not something library to shoot for. Has a library inside her. <laughs> totally, not, totally not creeped out. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I just came up with the idea right now because I remember one day waking up painful. and on my Twitter there was like, um, there was a couple that was using a stretcher uh, to separate uh, the anus and they were pouring, uh, I want to say like fruit loops and, uh, and milk it. into it. Saw it. So oh you my to God. Use it as a totally, cereal. totally saw it. Oh man. And the, and the Exotica Sounds Fan Choice best. Award. <laughs> For most the fucked most up idea. disturbing person on this podcast, <laughs> you know, I thought it would be me, Alice Vaughn. <laughs> Thank you. I was sure it was going to be me, just because my mind is tiny and it wanders. Yeah. But indeed, I just want be- Kendra to become a library, so that way, eventually, when she masturbates within the library, she could say, "No, I am qualified as a library. I have extra." I amount am of the library. Me. What? It- <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> what is the worst thing somebody's ever asked you to do, Kendra? Uh, I'm going to say like, that. <laughs> that's, um, that's pretty much up there. But, I mean, there's another. <laughs> well, dealing with OnlyFans every day in this, like, it, have you found that, like, the requests through OnlyFans get, have gotten weirder through quarantine? Or have they pretty much just stayed on par? Um, I don't really offer, like, custom things. So okay. I don't really have a lot of people asking me. Because someone ruined it for the rest of them. He wanted all these requirements and all these things you want me to do and I was just like you know what I'm just not gonna take orders from these people yeah and all these things but I mean in person I was feature dancing one time with my best friend Carmen Caliente and we were giving this guy a lap dance and he was like am I your naughty brother and I was like me who has three brothers was like I don't want to talk about this and he just kept pushing and so she started talking to him and being like oh yeah you're so nasty you're so perverted and like just basically shitting on him and I was just Good like please her. counting the minutes until that lap dance was over I do not get I the, the I do not get the incest thing not a or the step I maybe it's because I don't have step siblings that I'd nah just the reality of that I feel they have to say step because they can't they yeah. want to say like real but they have to say yeah. step everything know? step mom step step brother by the way when we do I don't shows know. i think you should have taken that lap dance too far i think you should have been like yeah and i'm gonna fuck the shit out of you and then i'm gonna accidentally get pregnant and we're not gonna know how to explain this and i don't feel comfortable going to planned parenthood so you, our kid is going to be really <laughs> fucked up and have an iq above you and i are gonna have some flipper babies 
Yeah. Just keep talking. Keep talking. That's yeah. funny. It's the meth talking. Not give me, me, give me some flipper babies. And we're gonna have to release them into the ocean. And you feel comfortable releasing our children into the ocean? I, so Kendra, being being a, an OnlyFans mogul, wouldn't you think it would make for a great like show for for Alice and Yvette if they did an OnlyFans account and just about the shit they experienced there for a week? Yeah, I think I'm terrified. Cool. I mean, you guys sell pictures of your feet or like um, degrade people. Bro, I don't know. I'm trying to think of things that you might after like. after this. I mean, skin my peeling. feet are currently peeling. Would people pay for that? <laughs> yes, I feel yes, people, they would. People would pay for the peeling. Anything. From feet. Yeah, people but would buy my fingernails after I take them off. Sometimes, dude. Just, well, you know, your fingernails have DNA in them, correct? No, or or th- not okay. if she's taking them off. I mean, oh, some of my nails? actual yeah. fingernail is still stuck to the the fake fingernail. Sometimes. They can, could they yeah, clone they'd her? be taking your DNA. There Sorry, may be babe, clones of you in the future. That, Did that oh, just? Is there DNA on my on my panties though? After I wear them? Yeah, but not yeah. enough. Like fingernails, okay. I feel like you can get Yours, like, some some good old fashioned DNA. Houses, it could be a whole I'm just trying to there. think of all the things I've sold over the years. I'm like, oh god. Dude, there's going to be like no one has a, enough to replicate you on a career. In a hundred years, there's going to be like a, a an army of Kendras just like marching Dude. across. I don't know. Some libraries people, across America on some college campuses. Buy, like an obscene amount of things from me. Like some guy bought like ten pairs of my old yoga pants, and I'm like, "What do you need all these for?" Dude, he just obviously <laughs> came into some money because he wanted to splurge. Smell, because eventually the smell went away from the previous one, oh and my. that doesn't. Yeah, they're just so. He's, he needs yeah. With with a lot of our at a lot of the exoticas, uh, our staff office will be on like the second floor, looking over the show floor, and so you can kind of stand up there and like get you know bird's eye view of everything, and and judge, um, and judge people. No, and uh, and so we're standing up there one time, and uh, Tanya Tate was signing at Spotlight, and she's talking to this guy or whatever, and we're just talking, you know, we're watching, and like all of a sudden you see her like the guy stays there she ducks behind the curtain and like squats down and we're like what the fuck is going on over here then she comes back out and they like hug and he leaves or whatever the next time she comes up to the staff office and we're like what what are you doing she's like oh i sold my panties and we were like what were you doing she's like well i I like to put them up in me before i i can't i I can't do the impression so it's like stick it up in me and then i and, and they and i charge more you know and i'm like the things that you see when nobody's Wait, looking. So what, yeah. I want to hear more, Kendra. What have you sold? So you sold fingernails. I mean, I've, I've sold my panties. I've sold um, shoes, pants, no hair, shirts, right? bras. No hair. No hair. hair a swab. No. <laughs> I saw in an episode of Superman where they created a super villain from one of his hairs. Yeah, no. I, sh- I mean, I shed a lot of hair naturally, so I should sell it. But uh, if you but come yeah, back, I mean, if, if they bring you hair. back, do you want to be a good superhero or do you want to be the bad guy? Bad guy. Nice. I'm a good person That's now and I, I'm getting fucked over, so I really want to come back as a bad guy. Alice, how many people do you want to murder in a future lifetime? Does it have to be a future lifetime? Why can't it be now? <laughs> she does. She, she has those killer public, eyes. Make, make pretend. <laughs> What? May pretend it's a future lifetime. I'm trying to protect you from yourself. <laughs> what is I this, mean, like, are you trying Terminator? to protect me so I could get reincarnated, I guess? <laughs> Don't listen to Dave. I mean, this... I mean do, we, do, we, do I have to have a list? This is what happens, this? This is what is happens when Dan drink, drinks peanut butter alcohol. <laughs> I kind of want to know, like, can I come in with, like, a hundred and then I choose them throughout my life and then I do accumulate do it at the end? Or do I have to have, like, Hey, these are the only people, and then I have to hope they're still alive so I can murder them. And can I? Do I get arrested if I murder them? Sorry, I may have. Can you can you draw back the question since she has so many follow up <laughs> questions? Is that possible? I, I withdraw the question. <laughs> I withdraw the. <laughs> I just I realized that you're very do. disturbed. I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. Everyone okay. does this. I got no, a master's. That's in... why no one asks me questions. You got a master's in forensics. I got a psychology. master's in, for, in no forensic science, so that in case uh, I, I need to murder someone, no one will ever find out. <laughs> bum, bum, dun, 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 I just dun. I just played the long game on this. Kendra's like laughing and scared at the same time. Kind of. I don't blame her. It is. I mean, scary. don't worry. We'll help you hide the bodies. <laughs> you don't need. You, After you don't all, need you'll have a library them. in you. 
That's true. It would be library Look, we're girl, here. superhero. <laughs> we're here for the comic relief, so that way you never get convicted, and you can laugh about it. For those that, who haven't heard your, for those who haven't heard your podcast, I know you guys like within a couple of weeks we're in the top twenty on iTunes of comedy podcasts. Um, like what? I know you had a bunch of porn stars on there. Is there been any guests or any like particular episode to try and get for somebody to get into your stuff? And that has hers. Let's see. Um, I would say the Tom Arnold one was ridiculous just because we got Tom Arnold on and he was, uh, well, he, he, he was lit, um, to say the least. Uh, but I, uh, my favorite episodes is because I loved the porns that we watched. Um, I really loved Fap to the Future. Um, it was just it, really good porn and like they just they did justice to the source material uh, and I loved Pee Wee's Big Triple X Adventure um, and also watch uh, the last one I'll recommend is uh, still um, the Big Lebowski Triple X for the cinematography values not even kidding um, we had Tommy Pistol on a couple favorite. days ago with the, he was Pee Wee oh we've yeah. had Tommy yeah. on we, we loved, loved him now. but did you see his puppet show dude you let the cat out of the bag we haven't Dude, we Shit. haven't watched this uh, puppet porn yet, but we will. Um, but Fucking we do amazing. have an episode with Tommy. And, God, I can't wait to eventually review that porn where he fucked the couch. And it was a couch that was made for him to fuck. It was amazing. <laughs> was it um, Joanna Angel's couch? <laughs> no, it was one that was specifically made by Leroy Myers uh, for the set so he could fuck it. So oh, this wow. is a dedication they have on set. Um but I mean, speaking of Leroy Myers, I mean, we reviewed uh, one of the films he worked on was The Simpsons Porn Parody, and we love that one. That was actually uh, episode only 24. We're going way back. So we love that one. Um, we've reviewed we're everything just... from, I mean, if we're talking about puppets, I know that at one point, uh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> we did review like 70s puppet porn called Night Life. Dreams. Yeah, Night Dreams. Uh, we've yeah, had. To- I'm still. I, I think I'm still scarred from that one. Um, I mean, God, there's so many good ones. Uh, I, I would say just kind of we we do a balance of between porn reviews and interviews. Like we had Buck Angel on not too long ago. Awesome and- dude. Really interesting. Awesome dude. We just did that to see if we could get canceled. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We we only had like two angry tweets. It was fun. It was, it was fun. Yeah. But we have like that's the thing. We have comedians on. Like we just this past episode we had with like uh, Aaron Berg, and before that we had uh, like Mike Eagle on. But we also have people who are scientists or in the uh, um, porn world to just come on and talk. So we've had like Alice Little from like the Bunny Ranch, or we've had. Um, like Wednesday Martin who wrote a book about adultery. So we kind of have something for everyone. Uh, so if you're not sure where to start, I would just say flip through some of the descriptions. If something catches your eye, listen Go to it. it. There, because- there are five minutes straight of dick jokes on the episode about the Simpsons porn with a former Simpsons animator. Oh, so okay. That, that episode might be, I'd say, still like it, the episode itself is probably still a favorite of mine because was, I just I love Anna so much. and We had so much fun on that. And that was Andy I Sandemus. Mean, also dick, dick jokes about Dread's dick. So Dread oh. has an, a ridiculous dick. Oh, so I have a Dread story. Um, <laughs> Wait, you can't just shake your head. I have a Dread yes. story. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's see whose Dread Let's, story is better. Go ahead, yes. Go ahead, Kendra. I guess uh, uh, Kendra's dead, Dread story is going to be way better. But um, so Dread is an awesome dude. Uh, and after I once went viral on a motor buddy, he contacted me out of the blue. So that was fun. And, you know, we became good. We became friends. We invited him on the show. And then this past year, we uh, we went again to the AVNs and AEs. And I remember that evening, uh texting a friend and he was saying hey you know alice when you're ready come up and you know you could come up to the suite where everyone's hanging out so yvette myself and a couple of our friends yeah. are hanging out uh hanging out in one of the clubs and i'm wondering why is like my friend dan just not getting back to me not and me. turns out uh yeah n- not you dan <laughs> <laughs> uh and turns out i basically was uh unrealizingly texting dread hey me and a girl couple girls want to come up to the suite like kind of implying like hey we want to come up to your time room. to get it on right yeah but i wasn't trying to say that 
you know. So well, you know what? Really you already sorry. said it, so you got to live up to it, and that's all, all there right. is to it. Kendra, and your drug story. I just commit and do it. Now you have a better story. I told you. <laughs> uh, uh, his ginormous penis was my birthday present for my last birthday. <laughs> you can find that on KendraSunderlandVIP.com. It's very intimidating. It is another person. It hasn't. Is it ginormous? How ginormous is it? Like a fucking. Like, <sighs> like he doesn't need to fist you to fist you. It's kind of like a little cricket though, so it's like that. <laughs> okay. So. Like, you uh, know he's. When something like that comes at you, him. I mean, is For it the a record, challenge? Your Honor, let it be known that Jay asked a question, not me. I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm because and he you watches know, 90 Day Fiance. Let's just say you know that that. That shit's crazy. Like, do, do I have to imagine that like some people run in fear, other people take it as like trying to climb Mount Everest. Yeah. A lot of people also die from climbing Mount Everest. <laughs> it's true. Back, so. what, what do they call that? What do they call it? The uh, the no return zone or the dead zone or the whatever it is like. What the fuck was I thinking zone? <laughs> Can you imagine if you were bonding no. dread and a couple dead people on it because they just couldn't make it? No. Okay. No. <laughs> just, <laughs> just you. Oh, bye. I bye, mean, right. if you're much like Mount Everest, you could die from oxygen deprivation if you're if you're blowing them for too true. long. True. True. It's kind of hard to breathe when that thing's in your mouth. It's true. Yeah. Dan, how do you do that? And he's the sweetest guy, and he just has like. <laughs> This massive. I'm, like, I'm, I'm done talking thing. about Dred's massive cock. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Are we? We're done. <laughs> whiskey. I got. We're, this we're shit. on yeah. to other dicks. We're on to other things. No, I mean, look, we want to thank all three of you guys for coming there. Jay, you had to do this, so I'm not thanking you. Thank you're um, wel- you. you're Yvette, welcome, Dan. You're Yvette, welcome. Remind, let's see. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce your last name now because <laughs> <laughs> I'm not much. The entremont. Yvette, the entremont. Remind everybody where they can find you. <laughs> you guys can find me at the Cybabe on Twitter and Instagram and at Facebook.com slash Cybabe where I am sciencey and snarky. Yeah. Sciencey and snarky, the two S's. Alice, where can everybody find you besides going to get another bottle of wine? <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. Um, you guys can find me on Twitter at Rational Blonde. However, you guys can find our show everywhere. You can listen to podcasts, including on Spotify and Pandora. Uh, Two Girls, One Mic, the Porncast. Uh, also, you can find us. If you're not sure where the fuck to find us, just type in twogirlsonemic.com or tgompodcast.com, uh, and it'll take you straight to you us. Have the, you have the most dangerous Google search ever known to man, <laughs> because let me tell you, I, I, I watch our search traffic, and it's like Exotica girls. with 1X, 2X, 3X. Like, I got to imagine that you're pushing off some serious traffic to an old school video. <laughs> I feel like I'm the only person on the planet who has not watched that video and well, I will continue to not watch it. I mean, now, 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 well, now you can't watch it. If you've, if you've taken a stand to this point, then like, yeah, it's like, I know what happens. Apparently some people eat poo but you and don't I have know no desire. Until, to really, really, all they really had to do was fucking do a little masturbation show in the fucking library. But you don't know till you know. It's, you know what? It's, yeah. it's kind of like when someone says, "Oh, this tastes bad." Here, taste it. Yeah, I know what's gonna this happen. Milk is spoiled. And, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Kendra, remind everybody where they can find you online. <clears throat> okay. Uh, follow me on ins. I'm really high, so okay. Follow me on Instagram at the real Kendra Sunderland. Twitter at KS Library Girl. Free videos on ksvideos.com every Wednesday. Five dollar OnlyFans is OnlyFans.com slash KS Library Girl or you can go to KS Library Girl dot com and I do live shows on there every Tuesday and for full length videos and photo sets is Kendra Sunderland. I- I'm not done. <laughs> <laughs> can we start playing the like the walk in music? Play the, the exit music now. <laughs> it's not my fault I have a long name and I'm an entrepreneur. Okay. You do. <laughs> Kendra Sunderland VIP dot com has all my full length videos and photo sets. Also you can find all the used items I talked about that you can buy off of me. Also, there's merch on there, and then my second merch store is Kendra2020.com, where there's calendars, phone cases, weed smoking, I mean, smoking, anything, uh, 
supplies like roller uh like meth. rolling papers no <laughs> <laughs> i still eat weed but it's herb grinders you okay, know yeah. and rolling papers and lighters and stuff and that's it a tobacco pipe and that so is very club and buy my flashlight okay I'm and go to browsers yeah Coming and soon. check out browsers 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 <laughs> check that out I'm, I'm so, checking that I'm, out. I am so glad that Jay, we made it through Jay, this whole interview so much without today. a flashlight. Yeah. We've learned so much today. I learned that Bigfoot might be more female than male. I learned that... And if he exists, he probably has a really small dick. I learned that Kendra's Mima survived both her finding out about her and Corona. Mm. I've learned for Yvette to be scared shitless and never leave the fucking house again. Yep. <laughs> And I've learned from you that I've gone, walked uphill both ways. Never dishwasher and your glasses. Hard liquor, weed, and yes. whatever this other stuff is, good mixture, Jay. Good mixture. It, it really is. Um, next week, guys, join us on Exotica TV. Monday, we have Backstage with Pollyanni. Tuesday, Fork You. That's our cooking show. Aren't we clever, punternator? Pun linguist? <laughs> um, with Lauren Phillips, and we're doing an unboxing from Bad Dragon with uh, from BJ McNaughty, a clown stripper. Yes. Oh, I've seen her before. She's awesome. Yeah. She's uh, awesome. Wednesday, Sexpert Corner with King Hef, which might get us, which might get us kicked off of every platform that we have. So just let it let it be known. Enjoy you can. Um, also, we uh, will be talking with some of our staff members in in human resources. It could be or could not be, may not be Jay's mom. We will see if we can get that to happen. Oh, Jay's mom does work for us, by the way. Um, by work, he Thursday, means hangs out at the pool. Go ahead. Spotlight with Alex Cole and the boob tube where they're talking about cars. Friday, we're back here right again. It's Memorial Day weekend kickoff for happy hour. You ready for this? With Ray of, Ray of Sunshine. Ready for this? Yeah. We, Ladies, we busted the A-list here. Yeah, we're moving Constantine Maroulis from American Idol. And Shut the front Rob, door. Yep. He's doing something? Oh, he's, he's doing our <laughs> shit. Yes. Oh. oh, yeah. That's Exotica lit. TV. Oh, man. Awesome. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Oh, America. Man. America, America. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. It was America. such a Thank such a you. learning experience, and uh, you know, I almost heard some stuff while I was watching Kendra her boobs bounce. So, um, you know, all in all, it was a win for everybody, right? Please. And it was so cool. We will talk, ladies, about syndication here. <laughs> we're obviously moving up in the world. We're moving up in the world. We're once ready we get to once we get done with Constantine, things. we're moving on. Yes, we are. Okay. Next, Tiny Tim. We're gonna dig him up. We're going to put that ukulele in his hand. We're going to have a fucking party. Everybody Fuck yeah. stay safe. Stay sexy. Peace out. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.